Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial. Course code U18 ME204. I am B Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Varangal. In this video lecture, I am going to explain one problem in projections of planes. Exercise 12 Projections of planes Page number in ND but that is 269 uh, Let us see the problem number 1 Draw an equilateral triangle of 75 mm side and inscribe a circle in it Draw the projections of the figure when its plane is vertical and inclined at 30 degrees to the VP and one of the triangle is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP first uh, draw the XY line uh, you can uh, see the question draw an equal triangle of 75 m side so here we are having uh, two planes one is the equilateral triangle another one is circle that circle is inscribed in equilateral triangle first we need to uh, construct equilateral triangle let us see the position uh, this position is its plane is vertical so first we need to construct one equilateral triangle this plane is vertical and inclined at 30 degrees to VP. So, uh, the plane is inclined 30 degrees to VP means the plane is parallel to VP. So, uh, in the front view, it shows true shape. So, we need to construct uh, front view. That plane is parallel to VP. The equilateral triangle uh, one side is 75 mm first we need to draw one vertical line this length is 75 mm next uh, take engineering compass take uh, take the measurement is 75 mm from this point draw the arc here similarly uh, another end point draw the arc and cut the previous arc that point is uh, C point. Now, now join this end point and this intersecting point. Similarly, uh, this point and this intersecting point. Now give the lettering in clockwise direction. A dash, this is the B dash and C dash. This is the equilateral triangle. This plane is vertical and this plane is parallel to VP. The second plane is inscribe a circle in it. Uh, before going to construct this circle, we need to identify the center of equilateral triangle. We know the one procedure. <coughs> uh, first give the dimension for equilateral triangle that is 75 mm these are the two extension lines <coughs> the length is 75 mm next uh, locate the center for this equilateral triangle for construct uh, for identifying the center point we need to join a dash corner point to the opposite side midpoint that means B dash C dash point now join this A dash point and midpoint of this line B dash C dash similarly we need to draw uh, C dash corner point and uh, opposite side midpoint that means A dash B dash midpoint these two lines are intersecting the this the it gives center point uh, from using the center point we need to construct circle it gives inscribed circle in the equilateral triangle 
Okay, after completion of this circle, we need to divide this circle into number of equal parts. Uh, in this problem, I am going to divide uh, to this circle into 8 equal parts. This is the first half, that means horizontal line, this is the vertical line. Now the circle is divided into 4 equal parts. Next, we need to divide these 4 equal parts to 8 equal parts. So you can check here, this is the 90 degrees with the help of Protractor, we need to take 45 degrees line. So finally, the circle is divided into 8 equal parts. Now, give the lettering in the clockwise direction. I am taking uh, for circle, I am taking 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. Okay, after completion of this initial front view, we need to draw the vertical projectors to top view. When you are seeing from this side, from each and every point, uh, draw the projector to for constructing top view. Here, the imprint distance is not given. So, I am I'm I'm taking 10 mm imprint of VP. Uh, you can also take the uh, you can also construct top view on xy because here uh, that imprint distance not uh, not mentioned uh, when you are seeing from this side a dash is visible c dash is invisible a, a of c comma 1 a is visible point c is invisible point this is the end point B. Similarly, we need to uh, draw the projectors from each and every point of this circle to the top view. Also, uh, give the lettering. This is the 2 comma 8. This is the 3 comma 7. This is the 4 comma 6. This is the 5. The next step is this plane inclined at 30 degrees to VP. So uh, on the same line, we need to draw one 30 degrees line. This is the starting point A of C. Now take uh, engineering compass. Uh, measure A. B distance from A at the center, draw the arc on this 30 degrees line. That is the B point. Similarly, by using engineering compass, <coughs> uh, draw the arcs and identify the remaining points on this 30 degrees line. That is the 2 comma 8. Next, we take A3 as radius, A as center. That is the 3 comma 7. Next, uh, take A4 as radius, A as center. Draw the arc on this 30 degrees line. The name is 4 comma 6. Similarly, you can take A5 as radius, A as center. Draw the arc on this 30 degrees line. That name is 5. The next step is to construct second front view uh, for constructing second front, front view we need to draw the vertical projectors from each and every point to the to the for front view from a point from b point next 2 comma 8 3 comma 7 4 comma 6 projector 5 projector similarly we need to draw the horizontal projectors from each and every uh, every point from previous front view from a dash from b dash from c dash similarly from uh, circle points 2 dash 4 dash 1 dash 5 dash 8 dash comma 6 dash 7 dash 
the next we need to uh, identify the uh, identify the points this is the intersecting point for a1 dash this is the b1 dash this is the intersecting point for c1 dash now join a1 dash b1 dash b1 dash c1 dash c1 dash a1 dash this is the second front view for uh, equilateral triangle of 75 mm side similarly we can identify the uh, cycle circle intersecting points this is the 1 1 dash 2 1 dash intersecting point this is the 3 1 dash intersecting point this is the 4 1 dash intersecting point this is the 5 1 dash intersecting point 6 1 dash intersecting point 7 1 dash intersecting point 8 1 dash intersecting point now we need to join uh, all those points with free hand 1 1 dash 2 1 dash 3 1 dash 4 1 dash 5 1 dash 6 1 dash 7 1 dash 8 1 dash 1 1 dash uh, it looks like uh, uh, ellipse the last stage is one of the triangle is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP so here I am taking this a1 dash c1 dash uh, keep as 45 degrees to the HP so I am I'm taking c1 dash a1 dash uh, makes an angle 45 degrees to the HP now take this the c1 dash point take your engineering compass measure uh, uh, take 75 mm length from c1 dash uh, draw the arc on this 45 degrees line this is the a1 dash point similarly by using your engineering compass measure a1 dash b1 dash radius a1 dash as center draw the arc here Similarly, take C1 dash, B1 dash as radius, C1 dash as center, uh, cut the previous arc. Uh, this point name is B1 dash. Now join A1 dash, B1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, C1 dash, A1 dash. Similarly, in the similar manner, we need to construct uh, circle uh, you can see here i am telling one simple method 1 1 dash is on a 1 dash c 1 dash side similarly 6 1 dash on c 1 dash b 1 dash side similarly 4 1 dash is on a 1 dash b 1 dash side so by using engineering compass measure c 1 dash 1 1 dash uh, distance c1 as c1 dash is center draw the arc on a1 dash c1 dash this is the uh, uh, reconstruction point for 1 1 dash similarly take uh, by using engineering compass measure a1 dash 4 1 dash radius a1 dash is center draw the arc on a1 dash b1 dash length this is the 4 1 dash similarly measure c1 dash 6 1 dash distance or the radius c1 dash center draw the arc on b1 dash c1 dash side this is the 6 1 dash uh, in the similar manner we need to identify the uh, remaining uh, remaining five points that means 2 1 dash 3 1 dash 5 1 dash 7 1 dash 8 1 dash for constructing uh, for locating 2 1 dash uh, by using engineering compass uh, measure c take the radius as c1 dash 2 1 dash uh, here c1 dash center draw the arc here similarly uh, take 6 1 dash 2 1 dash radius 
six one dash center draw the cut previous arc and locate two one dash point. In the similar manner, locate the three one dash point by using engineering compass. Take six one dash three one dash radius six one dash center draw the arc here. Similarly, B one dash three one dash radius B one dash center cut the previous arc. Now locate the name is three one dash. Similarly, for locating five one dash. A1 dash, 5 1 dash radius, A1 dash center. Draw the arc here. Similarly, uh, C1 dash, 5 1 dash radius, C1 dash center. Draw the cut the previous arc. Now look at the name is 5 1 dash. Similarly, you can uh, look at the remaining remaining points. That is 7 1 dash. Eight one dash. Now join all those points by using uh, free hand. This is the uh, this uh, this the thick line. Uh, it gives uh, final front view. Final front view of a equilateral triangle with inscribe a circle. Okay. After completion of final front view, we need to draw the uh, projectors from vertical projectors from each and every point to for constructing final top view from B one dash, C one dash, A one dash. Similarly, we need to draw the horizontal projectors from previous top view. That means second top view. From A A point and B point. Now look at the names. That is the A one, B one, C one. Now join A one, B one, B one, C one, C one, A one. Okay. In the uh, similar manner, we need to draw the vertical projectors from circle. One one dash, two one dash. Three one dash, four one dash, five one dash, six one dash, seven one dash, eight one dash. Similarly, we need to draw the horizontal projectors. Two two comma eight, three comma seven, four comma six, five. Now identify the intersecting points. One one two one three one four one five one six one seven one eight one. Uh, now joining uh, those points. One one two one three one four one five one six one seven one eight one one one. Uh, the it uh, this is the uh, thick line. It gives uh, final top view for the given problem. Uh, uh, this is the final front view for the given problem. This is the final top view for the given problem. I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.